Neither I nor any of my Motor Trend cohorts involved in planning our long-term test fleet coverage discussed this ahead of time, but one way or another, stewardship of the 2022 Subaru WRX Limited that just landed in our garage fell my way. One way or another, because I don't recall how we decided I should oversee its year-long MT stay, but it feels supremely natural if not outright preordained. Nearly half my lifetime ago, I began my first job in this business as an intern with a Detroit-based automotive publication. Sitting in its garage was a rally car blue 2002 Subaru Impreza WRX long-term test car. It was, of course, the GD Bug-Eye version, the second-generation WRX and the first one Subaru sold in the US. The WRX by then had earned a perhaps small but earnest American following, thanks a little to the famous 555 liveried Imprezas competing in the World Rally Championship, and thanks a lot to a then-young video game franchise called Gran Turismo, I wanted to drive that car more than anything, and I was soon allowed behind the wheel a time or three during working hours. It was exciting for an aspiring auto rider, but it wasn't enough. Problem was, my publication had a long-standing, though informal, policy against allowing non-full-time staffers to take test vehicles home overnight. But my frustration didn't last more than a few weeks, as I somehow managed one afternoon to convince my bosses I wasn't a complete knucklehead and they could, probably, trust me not to ball the thing up, for months to come, I grabbed that WRX at every opportunity, often for days at a time. I've always considered it the first press fleet test vehicle I ever truly drove. So today, a nice round 20 years later, having the relatively new 5th gen WRX under my daily care is a fun quirk of fate, fun, affordable fun, and versatile capability has always been front and center when talking about the WRX. The new 4 2022 model, chassis code VB, looks to up its game from the previous version in several ways. For the first time, it shares no body panels with the Impreza, and while it won't win any beauty contests, it features notable overall improvements. They include a large tablet-style touchscreen, sportier and more supportive seats, and better materials inside. Dimensionally, the chassis grows in wheelbase, length, and width, and Subaru says it's 28% stiffer in torsional rigidity versus the previous VA WRX. Mechanically speaking, the 2022 WRX now features the company's FA24 F 2.4 liter, up from 2.0, turbocharged flat 4 engine, good for 271 horsepower and 258 lbft of torque, just 3 horsepower more than the previous car, while torque is the same. It gets a new electronically controlled wastegate and bypass valve, Subaru says its power comes on sooner than before, and it's sent to all four wheels through, in our test car, a 6 speed manual gearbox. Torque is split 50-50 front to rear with the manual, unlike the variable split offered in CVT-equipped WRX's dual-pinion electric power steering, power assist motor turning one, the steering wheel turning the other, aims to offer quicker responses and better feel our limited model sits one step below the top-rung WRX GT, which costs about $6,000 more to start and features even sportier Recaro front seats, eyesight driver assist, drive mode select, and variable dampers. However, the GT also comes standard with the CVT we've been unimpressed with recently during other testing. Count the Limited as a win for us in the latter regard, though in the name of full transparency, we took delivery of this trim level because it's the one Subaru had available in anything resembling a timely manner. For the same reason, we went along with this car's drab magnetite gray metallic paint, we didn't really have a say in now, though, the choices are all ours when it comes to evaluating the new WRX for 12 months. I suspect we won't have to dig too deep into our creative bag to find, at the very least, a fair amount of fun just over the horizon.